What's up, YouTube? This is Barub52, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is the final stretch, the last temple of the dungeon, Ganon's Castle. Let's get started. But first, we have to go... Oh, sorry. I did... That's the wrong one. That, I, I played the Song of Time thinking it would teleport me to the Temple of Time. But we have to go to the Temple of Time because someone is waiting for us there. And a lot of you who haven't played this game and are watching will have a bit of a surprise to who is here. But not for me. I've played this game like... 20 times. I've been waiting for you, Brub. Brub, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now you have a final challenge, a showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikahs. If you would seek the Sacred Triangle, listen well. The resting place of the Sacred Triangle, the Sacred Realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of one who enters it. If an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. The Triforce, the Sacred Triangle, is a balance that weighs the three forces. Power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart of the one who holds the Sacred Triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the true force to govern all. But if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts. Power, Wisdom, and Courage. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce. The part representing the force that one most believes in. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. My brother is yelling at my dog right now. Those two parts will be held within others, chosen by destiny, who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands, aka the symbols and shadows of evil. Anyway. <laughs> Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the other Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Brub. I have the Triforce of Courage, that's right. And the other, who holds the Triforce of Wisdom, is the Seventh Sage, who is destined to be the leader of them all. God darn it. I don't know how long my microphone was out. Maybe it was out for a split second. Maybe it was out the whole time I was reading. I don't know. I'm just sorry. Hopefully you guys are reading along. But basically, they just revealed that Sheik is Zelda. Okay. It is either Princess of Hyrule. Dude, I'm so... I can't believe that it freaking unplugged. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that it would be our best chance. Yeah. 
As long as you have the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm, but... My family likes to talk a lot, it's a, it's a hobby of theirs. Something I could have never expected happened. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the sacred realm. Your spirit remained in the sacred realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the sacred realm. Ganondorf had become the evil king, and the sacred realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as the Thika and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. And now you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the evil king, will end. The Six Sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf, the evil king, will vanish from Hyrule. Brub, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the evil king's defenses, the power given to the Chosen Ones. The Sacred Arrow of Light. You got the arrow, the light arrow. Set it to see, and your arrows will be powered up. The light of justice we will smite evil. That rumbling, it can't be. Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. So now we go to his castle, why wouldn't we? We're here to save Zelda. Also, I'm missing a lot of heart containers for this final boss fight, I'm just not realizing. But it's fine, we don't need them. Ah, we don't need them. It's easy. Here we go, boys. I think this is our first time going into Ganage Castle in this playthrough. Yeah, we get the opening cutscene for it. Look at that. Ugh. Ganon's castle. My brother walked in for some reason. It was weird. He said nuke. I'm not really sure. But there's a big lava thing blocking his castle entrance. But since we've completed all the sage collection stuff, Brub, can you hear me? It's Rauru the sage. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganondorf's tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. Alright, so we've created the beautiful bridge here into Ganon's castle. Let's go. Okay. So we got all the six barriers here. And this one's for spirit. That one's for light. All the colors. It's beautiful. And sadly, 
I have to end the episode here. I know we only watched cutscenes in this one, but a lot of important narratives were laid down, I swear. In the next one, we will start working on these barriers and defeat Ganon. But this one was kind of a narrative episode, I know, I know, I know. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.